I'm vomiting. I have a headache. I'm hungover. <laughs> oh my god. You're you're a wimp, dude. <laughs> who, who vomits this early? You just drank a while ago. Oh god, I'm fucked up. Welcome back, everybody, to Falcon Plays Neo Scavenger, and we are here wrapping up the end of our Depths of Krygis mod. We only have one more location to go through, and then after this, we are going to basically start heading back into the wasteland. We will need to probably acquire more water after we're done here, but that'll be, like, you know, after we're done. For now, let's go back into the facility itself and um, wrap it on up here for us. So we'll go back inside, go inside of the main hall over here. If you, can think, if you didn't catch the last episode, I would encourage you to do so. We went through just about all the other rooms, and um, the only thing we have left over now is going to be the, the lobby. So let's go into the lobby itself. You're in the front lobby of the cryo facility. The entire room is overgrown with plants What? while the cold wind gets inside through a sizable hole in the ceiling. We have a vending machine. We have, take a look around. We can use botany for examining the plants inside. Huh, really? Yeah, let's do that. Oh, we got some berries. <laughs> the forest you can see outside the windows encroaching the facility from all around seems to have found a way inside. Vines of various kinds were the first to breach into the man-made barrier, growing on the roof and reaching inside through the hole in the ceiling. Woodbine, Virginia creeper, ivy. Windows made way the rotten leaves creating a more fertile basis. Other plants followed. Now many different species grow upon the pile of rubble, enjoying sun through the windows and rainwater from above. But sheltered from the strong winds and many pests. <laughs> this 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 tree over here, this little bush, had it going on. There's even a maple sapling growing right in the middle of it all. Also, there's berries. Yummy, yummy berries. And we did find some yummy berries. We found three of them. 100% condition. So those will last us here for a while. We'll go ahead and bring those along. And that's about it, huh? Okay. So now we can take a look around or we could also check out the vending machine. Let's check out the vending machine first here. The vending machine isn't powered and looks broken. And looking through the glass, you cannot see anything inside either. Still, you hope there's something inside. So we have two options. We could try to rock it and topple it over. Or you could put your hand inside the vending mechanism. Something tells me that putting my hand inside could be a problem. I... I want to say, what did I watch growing up where somebody's had their hand stuck inside a vending machine? There's there's a there's a cartoon or a television show I watched growing up where someone's hand got stuck inside the vending machine and it turns out that the only reason it was actually stuck was because they wouldn't let go of the item in there. So eventually they were like, Wait, you were holding onto the item all along? Yeah. Let go of it. And he does it and his hand comes off. Could that have been the office? I'm not sure if that was the office or not. It sounds like the office with Kevin. And the other one that I also remember was probably Beavis and Butthead. I think there was also one, an, an old episode of the old school Beavis and Butthead. Not the the reworking, renewal that came out like you know a couple of years ago. Is that still going on, by the way? I know that it got reworked and I never really paid attention to it because, you know, Beavis and Butthead was more of a generational type of thing. You know, you kind of watched it during that age and period. And it worked for that age and period. But then if you try to, like, you know, reboot it down into nowadays... I don't think it would really work out, so I never really paid much attention to it, so I'm not even sure if it's still running or not, the little rebootle. Rebootle, he says. <laughs> the reboot. Rebuto. Still, shut up, Falcon, just stop. Anyway, um, yeah. I don't think sticking my hand inside is going to be a good idea, so let's go ahead and just topple this bad boy over. Oh. Well. <laughs> I guess that's a bad idea, too. It is heavy, but you think you might be able to overturn and break it open if you rock it a bit first. With the whole weight of your body, you begin to push and pull. Soon enough, you have it moving a bit. With a single strong pull, you manage to break the balance of the bloody thing, only to lose your footing, too, and the entire thing is falling right on top of you. At the last moment, you manage to roll over, but not without suffering some cuts and bruises. This guy's a ditz, is what he is. So we got nothing from this? Ah. Alrighty. Well, that's unfortunate. Oh, we got some injuries, huh? Let's take a look around. Avoiding stepping on the unstable rubble, you take a stroll around. Somehow, the spacious place makes you feel more lonely than the narrow corridor you've heard before. The good news are, despite the opening in the roof, this place is relatively secure. The glass panes are strong as ever, and the doors are rest rusted shut. Unless someone is really dedicated and ready to climb the unstable roof, they should not be able to enter the facility from this side. The bad news are, there is nothing here to shed light on what has happened with your world, or the secret of your identity or myriad other questions swirling in your head. All the papers have faded and rotten away, and the teller's terminal now serves as a pod for some particular adventurer's vine plant. 
There isn't anything useful here either. We, got a, we just got a squirrel. I think we just got a squirrel. <laughs> but wait a second. What's that? A dark shape on the ground almost hidden behind the front desk. Carefully, you come closer and discover a dead squirrel. The poor thing got its head caught in the ripped remains of a plastic film and suffocated. It's a sad thing, you tell yourself, somehow genuinely touched by that little tragedy. But then your stomach rumbles. Disgusted by yourself, you follow its hint and pick the dead animal up. It hasn't even cooled entirely yet. Might be edible still. Oh, there's a little buddy right there. Yeah, I don't think I really have to eat you. I'll consider it. And that's about it. Go back. For now, you decide to go back. And that's it. Now, mind you, when we first came in here initially, there was a... There was an option here that we saw last episode, remember? Like, it was like, you know, look or pick something up. It was basically something on the floor that you could pick up, but I don't see it this time around. And it was through the lobby, I'm pretty sure, right? Unless I'm wrong. No, I guess it wasn't. Control room? No, we've been here before. There it is! <laughs> Interesting, you walk in and out of rooms and you suddenly find something. What's that? Hey, what's that? A speck of light somewhere on the floor catches the corner of your eye as you walk down the corridor. An item, almost impossible to see in the twilight except from a very specific angle. A small package made of a light reflecting material lying right next to the wall. You move closer and pick it up. It's a sandwich! <laughs> a sandwich tightly wrapped in a piece of tin foil. It must have been lying there for a very long time judging by the thick layer of dust covering it. Your movement around the corridor must have stirred up the layer a bit, allowing you to notice anything at all. Probably slipped from an employee's bag back when the f place was still functional. You carefully unwrap it, not really sure what you're even expecting to find. Inside is a sandwich that managed to turn stall, then moldy, then dry up again. Now you see its final form, a hardened greenish gray crumbs that no one sane would even try to eat. You let them fall through your fingers and right onto the ground to mix it with the dust. Only a piece of, a piece of tin foil remains in your hand. Yeah, that's tin foil, all right. And that's it. Alrighty, I think that basically just about wraps up the mod, I'm pretty sure. So let's go ahead into exam room 17 to get on out of here. There we go. Now, electrical panel. We have already turned that on, so that's not even a problem. Uh, the ventilation thing I would like to maybe fix at some point, but I don't think we have the proper skill for it. Main hall, let's go... How do I... How do I fucking leave? Every single time I have an issue. Here we go. Leave the crowd facility. Alright. Now, we have our little furry friend over here, which I guess we will probably eat just for a little bit of thirst. Quenching. Maybe a little bit of hunger as well. So, let's go into making a small little fire camper over here. Where can I do that? There we go. We just need to do a small little lighting. Nothing really too crazy or exotic. Where is stoked? Friction. Yeah, sure, I mean, go ahead and use that. We have, like, a ton of those papers anyway. Still have a lot of them right there, as a matter of fact. Okay, so that's that. And we're going to have to shred down our little squirrel friend over here. Don't want to make a squirrel snare. Just go ahead and toss... Uh, ba -ba 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 -ba. Corpse and shard. Well, we'll use a multi-tool. And trapping. Don't need trapping. It's only if you want to get the small animal hide, but whatever. Confirm, clear. And we should be able to now do meat from small... No, no, no. Roasted meat on stick. And there it is. And there you go. Alrighty, and we're done here. Nothing else for us to do. I guess I could bring this along with me if I wanted to, but I really don't. So we'll leave it here and that's about it. I guess I'll bring you along and sell you. I have a little bit of extra room left over anyway. Let's hang out right there. This is where my torch would essentially type of go at nighttime. You guys want to rock this one for a while, see if it actually gives me enough lighting for a long time? I eh, will give it a try, whatever. Instead of, like, constantly making the torches, we'll just go and roll with this here for a bit. Now, before we continue on our way, we want to go back to the Anishabi Shabu Bupa Paku Pao camp. Um, well, we don't want to go back. We want to go there for the first time. It's going to be north. However, we are a bit low on, what do we say? Water. So, we definitely want to get some water before we start heading out on our journey. Luckily, there's a bit of water over here, too. So, I don't think we're leaving anything behind, right? No, we're good. We're absolutely good. Backpack's there. Oh, you know what? Before, before we do leave. Yeah, exactly. Let me craft my noise. Oh, we should take care of our injuries too, because I think I might be bleeding. But we should have an extra noise trap over here somewhere. I think we're looking for tools, noise trap. 
Uh, do we really have to use that shard? Do I have some more shards? Which is the uh, other question. Should be pebbles here. Use the pebbles, dog. There you go. <laughs> no reason to use my shard. Condition 76.2. It'll do. It will definitely do. And you, my friend, come in here. Oh, yeah. See, that's what happened. The other one that we had initially broke down. So you're telling me this backpack is about to break down, by the way. Condition 2.5. Uh, that's unfortunate. What you're telling me is that the noise trap broke overnight when I was sleeping last time, so I have to make two of them, really. Okay, that's, uh, quite inconvenient. We have no more pebbles here, too, so I guess I'll probably have to use a shard. Do we really only have one shard left over? That's really hard to fathom. Like, where the hell are my shards in general, too? I mean, there's one right here. Like, what about the ones that we carry? I don't carry them. I don't carry them anymore. Ah, huh, I guess we've used them all up. Interesting. All right, it's fine. We'll just probably pick some, pick another one as we go forward. Or you just go to get some pebbles too. All right, you know what? Get the pebbles, Falcon. Fuck it. Let's sleep. Uh, we'll go into probably that little water supply right here. And again, we're not leaving anything behind, right? Mm, nope. Injuries, though, Falcon. Right. I'm bleeding over here. Again, this isn't really required, but since I have the alcohol for it, I like. Oh, I drank it. No. <laughs> Fuck. Well, that's one way to deal with pain. Just get drunk. Not really what I was going to do. I was hoping to empty it out momentarily so we could just clear up our wound here. But now I drank it and said, which is fine, you know, just walk around drunk here. What's the worst that could happen over here, huh? Just walk around the wasteland completely fucked up. This is some good whiskey, too. Let me tell you, this whiskey has been aged for a long, long time, so, you know, my dude is going to be quite intoxicated over here. Oh, uh, we're fine now. Oh, yeah. You might want to cover up the wound itself, Falcon. That might just help out a little bit here, my friend. Where the hell are my rags? Empty out. There we go. And you get your ass back in here. Same with you. Alrighty, we're good now. Let's get underway. Uh, I want to find some pebbles and make that other noise trap, though. So that's going to be my other goal right now. Let's go in to get some water as well. Come in here. No pebbles here left over, but there's water left over, which is great. I guess we'd, um... We should be able to make a... A really big fire... And then we will use it next turn to purify the water. So we're looking for medium campfire stoked. Oh, we can do the lid one. Do the lid one. All right, and turn. Next time around, we should be able to do our thing here. So crafting, perfect. Where is my extra can? There it is. And we want to do... How many do we need right now? We need... Hmm, six, seven. So we need 14, right? So seven piles of unpurified water to be taken care of. Not bad. Not bad. So you, you, and seven of these guys. One, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. Good. Purify all this. I'd rather purify it now than later because I know I'll just get stuck in a situation where I forget that it's not purified. I'll drink it and I'll be like, oh, that's no... Good whatsoever. Alrighty. Sterilized. 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 Two. And one more should just about do. Oh, wait, wait a second. Wait a second. We have an issue here. You break apart. You hang out with your sterilized friend, okay? I don't need you messing around with these non-sterilized waters, okay? There's a bad crowd you keep away from. I feel like a parent right now. There's a bad crowd. Stay away from those kids over there. All right, so we're fine over here. Everything's good. Water's completely sated. Um, we're what's going on over here? We're ca carrying a moderate load. Why is that? Why is that the problem right now? Burden, unable to run. Oh, is it probably? The oh, it's because we're drunk. <laughs> Got a caffeine high though, but we're drunk. That's quite a combination, right? You know what this reminds me of? This reminds me of like um, what are the what are they called? I, I, for some reason, I forget the name right now because I haven't done it in a long time, but it reminded me of the little combination where you have the, um, that one minty alcohol, what is it, Guy Jägermeister, and you have the Red Bulls, Jager Bombs, there you go, Jager Bombs, I haven't had those in a long time, I used to have them a long time a while back, uh, when I used to, like, party with friends, but it was like a combination of, like, you know, just a bunch of caffeine and a bunch of alcohol to kind of keep you leveled out, it's like a cheap version of cocaine or something, really, anyway, um, we have to wait till this uh, passes out because unfortunately we're having terrible movement rates right now. But so be it. We want to go 
upwards. End our turn here. There's a feral dog. Frail one, too. Dog, come on. Like, literally, dog, come on. You really want to do this? Can I, can I just threaten you? Like, do you just want to leave? No, he wants to fight. He um, definitely wants to fight. Feral dog's exposed for an easy attack to attack for a moment. Okay. So, here's the thing, my friend. I am going to have to shred you up right now. <laughs> oh, my God. So what happens when you're fray and you get hit with a melee surge. Doesn't really end too well for you. This isn't your fault, dog man. This is entirely your fault. I was gonna leave you be, but no, you used that to mess around with me. I'm not gonna mess around with him right now. I'm just gonna leave him there. Whatever. I have places to be right now. What the hell is that? Another feral dog. There's a different number of variation of looking dogs now, too, you know? I'm vomiting. I have a headache, I'm hungover. <laughs> oh my god. You're you're a wimp, dude. Who, who vomits this early? You just drank a while ago. Oh, God, I'm fucked up. Has it even been that long? How long has it been? This guy's a lightweight, let me tell you right now. Then again, he's probably like 90 pounds, considering, you know, he lives in the wasteland. He barely eats any regular food on a day-to-day -day basis. So maybe he just gets really fucked up really fast. It happens because of weight, too, sometimes. So there is that. But man, this guy is a lightweight. Um, Here's an idea. Since we're going through some wooded area, what if we turn this bad boy on for a while? There it is. So, we're carrying a flashlight, it is on. Uh, making it easier to navigate in the dark, but also easier to spot. So there's a dogman out there, he's gonna be like, Oh, light! Let me go and kill this man. Oh, fuck, it almost happened. <laughs> I almost, I honestly almost shit myself. As you pick your way through the overgrown ruins, a peculiar sound becomes briefly audible, it disappears, but picks up again in a moment, as if carried by air currents. It's a distant humming. Like a small gas engines out of the place in the stillness of empty forests and abandoned buildings. If I'm right, this is kind of leading me to believe that this is around where the... The dead fights take place, and then people bid on fights, and there's a bunch of cannibalism that goes on and all that stuff. I don't want to go in there because they basically take all of your shit, and then... There's a, there's a positive aspect to going in there, but I don't think we need it right now. What I really want to go to first is the Anishabi camp, so we can unload some of our stuff first, so we can make some room. So, I'm going to ignore it for now. We'll probably catch it back on the way back to DMC. But first, we want to go to the Anishabi camp. So, we'll ignore it for now. I also am kind of curious to see how long this flashlight lasts here. So, we just turned it on. We moved, what, one square forward? So, uh, charges 10, one per hour. Let's keep an eye on that. So, let's go forward now. Here it is. This is um, Zomzoms. That's what it's called, Zomzoms. Uh, normally, Zomzoms, there's a few areas you can loot around, but nothing really too great because this is where a lot of bad mothers and just bad dudes in general kind of hang around in, so they actually loot this area quite often, so don't expect to find anything of value in here. We move forward, though, so what I'm curious about now is... Hmm, that's still going. Let's see, let's give this a try. Scavenge. Storage shed. Loot is actually quite low. I could use my lights here as well, but eh, you know. Not really crazy about the type of loot we'd find. I mean, I'll give it a try. Why not, I guess. Uh, scavenge light source. Well, I guess I take it back what I said. <laughs> oh, the falcon luck in this run is just completely off the charts, man. Well, we got a backpack. Got a, a bigger backpack than the one that we have over here. Now, what's cool about this, you know what's really awesome about this? We could actually put this in our bag now. In our back, I should say. And the one that we had over here can now replace the one that's breaking down over here that's at 2.5 condition. How great is that? Quite great, you're saying? Yeah, I agree. Quite great indeed. So, let's come over here. Let's do a rearrangement for one. And, yeah, we'll leave everything over here. So, what we want to do is... Actually, I guess we have to... Yeah, let's just do this. Just move this over here. We only have a few items anyway. This isn't too bad. I could just put them straight up into the bag, too. If I really wanted to. I guess we will. Go in there... Got some bullets as well for you. We'll move these over here for a second, though. Do we really need disposable bags at this point, considering all the bags that we normally have? No. I think we can say goodbye to those, finally. And we have ourselves a new backpack. I guess we should probably remove you first. Oh, yeah, baby! Things just keep getting better and better. So, bullets over here. And... Bags will stay behind. We have some more mechanical parts over here. String over here, and flashlight. Somewhere over here and here. Cool. 
And then we'll come over here, and then this guy, we empty out. Remove you. Do we really have... Okay. This is becoming kind of silly now. Did we... Oh, no, no, we didn't make the, the fourth one because we needed pebbles. Right, okay. Can we use the ship? If anything, we could at least kind of deconstruct the ship. Oh, we need some moves, though. We need moves. Okay. One second. One second. We'll... This is a new one, right? Yeah. We'll place you over here for a second, and... Just hang in there. This is the one that we're leaving behind? Oh, wow. Well. Didn't notice this one. <laughs> more clean rags, which is cool. And we also have, again, more pills. Surprise, surprise. These will be the white pills. Can I combine you anywhere else? Yep, over here. Good. Don't eat that. I have enough rags, I'm going to say, right? Hmm... Yeah. I mean, I, I guess I could... Eh, whatever. This one's at 9. I could just probably stack it up and make it into a tenner. There you go. If I got a min-max, I guess. I Like, I don't feel like I need to do it, but I know if I don't do it, somebody in the comments will be like, Falcon, you could have made that stack of um, clean badges to 10. I'd be like, okay, yeah, you're right. I'm still vomiting, caffeine crash, I'm over here hungover. <laughs> My dude is going through a rough patch right now. This dude has seen some shit in his life. Uh, and this is cool. Uh, I guess we'll just um, leave everything behind, right? Yeah, we need to end our turn anyway. I'm starting to sweat, and that would happen. How are you doing? Down to eight charges. Let's hang out for a bit longer. I want to go through this area over here. We have an abandoned house. We will take a look at it because we have these crowbars anyway. So we'll use that. Use the light source. Loot went up pretty high up. But that's just complete shit. All right. Do it again. Storage shed. Crowbar's breaking down. Light. No items were found. And since we're in kind of like a city type of area, I guess what we could do is to preserve this. Just turn this off here meanwhile. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Charges. That's empty already. This has one charge left over. Ah, okay. So you could kind of judge it by that one. I see. All right. Yeah, I guess the torches are still a bit better. Just go oh, we have the lighters. We have a ton of lighters, too. So, you know what? I will give this area a bit more of a look-see because we've had luck so far. I mean, that backpack was amazing. I can't lie about that. So, uh, we'll, we won't go to Zom Zoms. We'll basically just check everything behind, around it, and then we'll head up to the Anishaba Shaba Boom Bow Camp. And we have Crumbling Apartment Building, Crowbar, and... I guess any lighter will probably do. Oh, more shards. Perfect. We actually were in the market for a few more of these. We could probably... Oh, you could make our Noise Trap finally, too. Our Fort One, anyway. So... Come over here. Where is noise trap as we're looking for? Noise trap. Tools. No mess with me. There you go. Pebble, exactly. This will be 68.1. Because of this goddamn pebble. You know what, pebble? Is there not a better condition one over here? Oh. <laughs> Am I going to really start breaking down pebbles for this? Uh, Jesus. 80 is not too bad. 81 is even better. 65, 68, 19, 87. There we go. 87. See, you know, just with a little bit of um, diligence, you could actually get yourself a really good trap. All right. Now, did you go directly into that? No, you didn't. Where did you go? You're you're right here. So we just want to place you inside of here. Great. So now we have. The four traps, the extra can that we have, we don't even need. So what I'll do is um, this one over here. Could go bye bye, bye 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 bye, and that's cool. And just a rearrangement over here. This is gonna be. Oh hey, look, we found some clean water. Oddly enough, this might be the stash of some dude that lives around here. One of the bad mothers, I would probably assume. Now where's my shard at? Like the one that we apparently have, we only have one left over. I haven't seen it in a while though. Like where the hell is it in our setup over here? Well, doesn't really matter. I'm gonna go ahead and grab. I'll grab this stack over here. Just so we have something to sh um, shred down food for whatever reason. What is this? Oh, the condensed soup. Oh, okay. I see what happened here. Can I have this straight up? Yeah, I can. <laughs> and you know, since we're a little bit thirsty as well, we might as well just drink the clean water we found. Not bad. We have some gummy bears, too. You know what? Have those gummies, my friend. Have those gummies. Just come into your place and just eat all your food and leave. Like I own the place. This is great. Next scavenging area, we have the destroyed office building as well. We'll use that. Bring this over here, and we possibly alert some individuals to our location. We'll see about that. And we have a bit more scavenging to do over here. Good. 
Uh, that was junk. Complete junk. But overall, really good. End turn. I do believe it's time for us to start wrapping it up here, is it? Well, well one second. All right, guys, we're going to wrap it up here for today after all. Um, <laughs> player has a headache. This guy, what a sissy dog. Can't hold his liquor whatsoever. Uh, we're going to wrap it up here. I will catch you around next time. Leave a thumbs up. Leave a like to support this me a lot. And we're going to head over towards the Anishabi camp right now. So I'll catch you guys then.